so we are going on a boat cruise. Good morning folks, welcome aboard the world famous Jungle Queen for a 90 minute sightseeing cruise. As we trip, bathrooms are located on the first floor all the way in the back of the boat. There is absolutely no smoking allowed on board. We also ask that you guys remain seated throughout the trip. If you'd like to stand up, take a photograph, you're more than welcome to do so. Back in the view, our skyline is very new, only 10 to 15 years old due in great part to the gentleman that lives in the yellow home coming up on the left hand side. This is the former mayor of Fort Lauderdale's home, served as mayor for five consecutive terms, but got out of politics, got into real estate, found this jump, decided to keep it for himself. This is the mayor that lived in the hype van. On the tall hotel over here, this is the Hyatt Pier 66, as I mentioned, currently owned by Mr. Wayne Heisinger. Originally built by Mr. Phillips of the Phillips 66 Petroleum Company, he built this six-sided structure in 1956, six built 66 windows per side. There is an express elevator that goes from the lobby to the lounge on the top in 66 seconds. The lounge on top rotates 360 degrees every 66 minutes, and there are 66 fires tilted at a 66 degree angle with 66 blue elevators down the river every single day of the year. If you guys take a look off the left-hand side of the boat, you'll see how the water the color side. turns from the dark the blue side. to the very lightish greenish yellow color right in the middle here. This is actually a island that has sank. It's known as Gilligan's Island for obvious reasons. And head back home shortly after that. You also notice a lot of construction that we have going on here on the river. Coming to the time of year, where a lot of the older mansions are to be torn down, making way for newer, bigger, more modern ones. That's not to say that some of the original mansions don't have some interesting stories behind it. For example, coming up ahead on the right-hand side, you can see the large, empty lot here. This was originally owned by the six million. So devastated by this, he never actually lived on the property. He put it up on the market, and then it sat there for two years. Finally called his real estate agent up, asked why they couldn't sell the home. The real estate agent simply responded with, nobody wants to buy a house with major faucet problems. Yeah, you guys want the jokes to get better? Uh, go see Sarah at the bar, she's got the tequila waiting. Coming up ahead off the right hand side to see the large yellow mansion with the terracotta roof coming into view. This mansion went up for sale about five years ago. A gentleman from the Midwest came down here, took one look at the home, said he liked it but did not love it. He was going to pass. The real estate agent was very desperate to sell the home, so she decided to throw in free her bonnet. Bonnie actually loaned Wayne $5,000 way back in the day to buy his very first dump truck. Wayne turned that dump truck into Wayne's Mansion. Nation. Just across the canal from that. Just to the right of that, the small green one there, that's where the gardener lives and the gardener's tool shed is. Just to the right of that, the salmon colored one, well that's a secondary three bedroom guest house. 
And everything to the right of that is the main mansion. It actually goes up all the way around the point, back down the other side. Originally built as five individual mansions that have now all been interconnected with breezeways and causeways. Take a look at the beautiful three-story gazebo. The first floor is the dining area, second floor is the, the outdoor patio area as well. Not uncommon to find the Heisingas out here on the weekends right around sunset, waving at all the boats as we go on by. And the property continues all the way up and around the point to the very last green building, which is building number eight on the property. As I said, this is their full-time residence. Now, the last Heisinga household we're going to be talking about is directly in front of us. Wayne actually purchased this when it was an empty lot for only now. side. You can come to church by boat here on the river and Monday through Saturday their overflow parking lot here also hosts Yappy Hour. It becomes the local dog park between 4 30 and 6 30 p.m. The congregation actually comes out and passes out milk bones all the four-legged friends running around. The white mansion coming up on the right hand side here this was originally built for the Tandy family. They're the ones that started Radio Shack after they moved out. The owners of Running Horse Farms moved in. They're the people from up in Ocala, Florida that donated all the horses for the movie Seabiscuit. After they moved out, Mr. Chuck West moved in. This was the first home he owned here on the river after opening his first 10 stores here in South Florida. Now I've showed you guys all the really big mansions. I want to show you guys some, uh, some of the original mansions that we had here. Those were all built back in the early 1900s. Coming up on the right hand side, the next four mansions here. Some of the original ones are now all part of the National Historical Society. Cannot be touched or tampered with in any way, shape, or form. Take a look at the beautiful two-story white.
instead of beautiful. <laughs>